could lift the curse. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. Ament it in octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover. Colophon included. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. in the rustling leaves. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. And the bark. Symbols hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic Robert arrows made in good time. Strange though. Willows isolated. No other trees near it. Isolated. No other trees near it. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm -hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Link's Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Attacking. 
Doesn't mean it's not a threat, though. inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Hmm. Hmm. A wall of spell enhancements. Or trophies. Arrow. Broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest, or a bad one. It all looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I've forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? If an I, the witch of Link's Crag would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sir Gareth. Yes. He came to sway me but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? the curse myself, without your help. Go right ahead. I wish you luck. Letting me go, just like that? I could not have devised a better ending for this little tale. Our visit is done. Adieu. For never shall we meet again.
Once I start not ramming your grave up! <laughs> So? You met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? That witch? She's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceress is witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? Daphne's kerchief. We'll use it to lift the curse, but we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds, then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood, much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. Your 
last to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. From the east, no cry is heard. From the north, silent sighs. Cease your vigil, dead he lies. Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. Recall today who you really are. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another.